questions. Can you just talk about you know what a, a resilient bunch you guys are, how, how great this was to, to make the Steelers like this the way that you did in dramatic fashion. And that's what we're out there to show uh, every time we step on the field. You know, we're, we're as tough as it gets. We're going to be resilient down the stretch. We're going to be consistent. We're going to keep on fighting. doesn't matter what happens throughout the game. You know, you're going to get the very best out of us for 60 minutes or more, depending on what happens. How did first sack come together? And did you think it was a safety? Uh, I for sure thought it was a safety. And I thought the next one was a safety, too. <laughs> but but uh, just, a, just a little stunt that we had. And uh, you know, slant to the B gap. They were you know, trying to jump me so they could I believe double team, and he, he got a little bit too wide and was able to rip through the, the inside arm. Saw, saw daylight and saw, saw Pickett, and you know, there wasn't anywhere for him to move. He couldn't step out or move left to right because it would have been you know, even more obvious safety and then just finish the play. Hey, uh, Miles, beating the Ravens and the Steelers now back to back, what does that say about the way this team is growing? Uh, I think teams not only you know, improve during the year, uh, but they also show you who they are. And uh, you know, I think we're, we're getting, getting to a point where we're showing the world who we, we are as a, as a team, as a defense, and uh, you know, really imposing our will on you know, the people that we're, we're playing. And we want to continue to you know, express ourselves and, and uh, how much we can, we can really dominate. What can you say about, you know, you guys went through losing your starting quarterback this week. DTR comes out there. And uh, puts on that kind of performance. Can you talk about just how how DTR did today? He's only con going to continue to get better. You know, the, the guy loves the hell out the game. You know, he, he focuses on his craft. Uh, he's very very uh, insightful and is you know, always looking forward to, to to listen to to guys and his elders to to you know get new information. You know, he's you no know, gathering information from all of us, defense, offense. You know, he he wants to be you know the very best he can be and. You know, he showed it, you know, making plays down the stretch, putting putting throws on the money and, uh, you know, leading us down the field to to get that uh, that field goal. I mean, the guy is, the guy is only going to continue to to grow as a as a person, a player and a leader on this team. Going through your mind when the Steelers got the ball and there's like a minute and 40 something on the clock. I got the quick three and out, but just that situation right there over the years, doesn't end up the way today did, but just what was going through your mind at that moment? Pin your ears back and make the play. It's do or die time. You know, leave it out on the field. You know, this is where you know heart means more than, than skill at this moment. So whatever happens, you 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 empty the tank on on this drive. I know this is a little tiny thing. Or I think it is a little tiny thing, but you got, it looked like you got poked in the eye or something during the game. Was that any, any sort of a big deal, small deal? Got over it? No big deal? Or what was that? It's, I mean, got over it. Uh, it feels better, but I don't think it was intentional. I kind of went in for a bull rush, and you no know, hands, you no, know, sometimes they just go as they may. No, I don't think, you no, know, Dan is a dirty player at all. It's just, you no, know, something that happened. Um, we have to quell the momentum, you know, before, you know, it start to start to rise. And uh, you know, we you know, had a, a bad uh, give up on that, that seventy yard run. You now it's uncharacteristic of us and you know, we had to clean that up, but you know, it was a matter of you know, making the plays that we need to make. And being where we're supposed to be, you no, know, we were just a couple of steps slow, and they were to make a play. And uh, you know, they they have that kind of talent on their their offense. So, you know, us being able to to slow them down and make them go go back to the drawing board, uh, take more time of possession, uh, make some you know, take some of those plays at the playbook, and and uh, start to you know, let us pin our ears back. Like I said. What did it mean to you to have Nick Chubb introduced before the game and then uh, saw him on the scoreboard at 7.40 left, but, you know, fired everybody up again? What was that like? Why do you have to come after me? <laughs> 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 no, I love seeing uh, Nick getting the, the praise he deserves. Uh, he's a hell of a guy, uh, outstanding player. Uh, we're not going to see another one like him for uh, quite a while. And, man, I'm just glad to have him around us uh, at games and, you know, Ken, can't wait till you know, he's back, you know, suited up, and we're going to continue to play for him and, and do our very best because he's he's the guy. How hard is it to lose a walking? Dang, y'all just dropping everything. 
Uh, I mean, our guy will be back. And uh, it's tough, but well, he's always with us. You know, as soon as he went down, he's, he's talking to us. You know, he's, he's, he's trying to pump us up, uh, encourage us, and still lead us. And you know, that, that's never going to change. You know, he's just that kind of guy, uh, great teammate, and uh, just a compassionate person. And he, he wants the, the, the best out of us. And uh, you know, we're, we're always going to try to you know, pick our guy up you know, in those, those low moments. Well, you, got a, you have a unique perspective because you've been here when this team has struggled and you're, you're a focal point right now as you guys are really succeeding. What is it about this team this year that's so different that you guys are consistently winning these nail-biting close games that go right down the wire? Nobody's taking the easy way out, uh, whether that's uh, in the facility, at practice. You know, everybody's in there to, to, to win it, and we know what we have in the building. Us, if it felt like before. You no, know, not everyone is going all in, and you no, know, everyone is really invested in, in being a winner this this year. And uh, can't always say it's it's been like that. It's been it's been tough, and I think the leadership has been a big focal point. Not only you know the the main guys, you know, the the playmakers, and you know the, the quote unquote stars, but you know the the guys who sometimes play, you know, six, seven, eight. Big snaps on special teams, or you know, someone who, who you know fills in because you no know, the first guy is out. Those guys are, are also leading. You know, everyone is, is taking it upon themselves, you know, uh, take ownership of the of this team and and what their their role and their job is with this team. And it, it really has taken it to another level. You no know, setting the tone and, and not uh, compromising. After losing to Sean, seeing DTR in a critical moment lead that offense down the field to win that game. What type of psychological boost can that give you guys? I mean, leading gets a, a tough defense. You know, those guys fly around. Um, and they made some plays. You know, they were they were trying to match us, you know, stride for stride. And he was able to, you know, calm everything down, you know, get everyone settled and uh, make the plays he needed to. I mean, that, that definitely builds confidence going into to next week, not only for us, but you know, for himself. You know, I can do this. And you no, know, he hasn't even you know really opened up to to what he can to really do. You know, maybe going down the field a little bit more, stretching the field, using his legs. You know, those things. You know, he haven't even, he hasn't even utilized yet. So once you know, once the game slows down even a little bit more, and he starts seeing seeing everything uh, a little bit a uh, little bit easier, a little bit faster. I think you no, know, he'll he'll be a uh, really dynamic. Special bond that you guys really have with your your fans, you know, here on the lakefront in these home games and the energy and the enthusiasm that that you guys are experiencing here. Uh, I mean, we're putting on for them. Hey, it's right now it's deserved. You, know, you, you, only, you only deserve those kind of things when you're when you're making those kind of plays and, and uh, you know that the effort is there to match. You know they see the the hard work, the the swagger, the passion we're putting into the game and how bad we want it, and they're they're matching that intensity. So you know, we we appreciate it. You know we love our fans and uh, you know, we love this city, and we're going to continue to keep on fighting our our, our hardest for them.